Today we're going to be talking about 10 design hacks that will elevate your home to the next level. Welcome to my channel. My name is Rayanne and I share all things home decor, tips, tricks, and hacks. Let's get right into it. The first design hack we're going to be talking about is curtains. You want to hang your curtains high and wide. This helps give the illusion that your ceilings are taller and the windows are larger than they really are. Curtains give a finished look to a room. Recently, I hung curtains up in our living room and just look at the difference from before curtains to after. It immediately made the room feel elegant and cozy at the same time. These velvet curtains are a favorite of mine and the taupe color is subtle enough that any decor will work with them. A designer hack to follow is you want to go down a few inches from your ceiling and a few inches out from the trim of your window. Another curtain hack is to add two panels to each side of the window. You can see here where there are four panels total on this window, but over here there are only two, one on each side. The window with more curtains just looks fuller and luxurious. Lighting is your best friend. Lights add a warm, friendly glow to a space and can make not only you feel at home, but your guest as well. I try to add as many lights as I can to a room, as you can see in my living room. Here in Michigan, the winters are long and gloomy, so any extra light source helps to keep away those winter blues. There's so many ways you could add lights to a space, whether it's overhead lights, table lamps, floor lamps, pendants, sconces, and puck lights. Even candles can add a nice extra touch to a space. Let's talk about the multiple uses for baskets and how they can hide all the things you don't want the world to see. Or maybe you're like me and don't wanna stare at the clutter all day long. Baskets can hold extra throw blankets and pillows in your living room. They can be used to style a console table or even hold kids' toys. The goal should be to make a home for every item in the room. And baskets are a great way to do this. Recently, I had to move some of my kids' snacks to this glass storage cabinet and after a few weeks of looking at the clutter in there, I decided it was time to head to Home Goods and pick up a few baskets to make this space look more appealing. This was an easy and inexpensive decor hack that made this area look 10 times better. I love a beautiful rug and I've been known to swap out my rugs often. They can make or break any room you use them in. As I was decorating this living room, I decided to just pull a rug out of storage until I was ready to buy a new one, but the lack of color and pattern wasn't doing the room any favors. This new rug makes such a statement and really ties in all the decor elements. One more rug hack for you, make sure your rug is the correct size. Always measure the room you're working with and your furniture as well. You can even use a painter's tape to visualize how each size rug would work in a space. The two main layouts are either to have all the furniture on the rug, which works really well if you have an open concept home and want to create separate spaces. And the other most common layout is to have the front legs of all the furniture on the rug. You also wanna make sure the rug extends past the sides of the furniture as well. A quick and affordable way to make your home look more custom is to paint your interior doors. You could be bold, and choose a beautiful vibrant color or give your home a modern vibe by choosing black. In my last home, I was in the process of painting the interior doors agreeable gray by Sherwin Williams. It was a subtle difference, but still made a huge impact on the overall vibe of the house. In my current home, I just painted this basement door and closet door in Pigeon by Pharaoh and Ball. And what a statement these make. I love how they turned out. Molding or trim adds an extra element to a room that just takes it to the next level. Do I dare tell my husband that I have big plans for both of the living rooms in my home that involve gorgeous molding? Oh, and maybe the master bedroom and the bathroom. <laughs> 
I recently did this simple molding in my front entryway, then combined it with some wallpaper. It just gives it an elegant feel and completely transformed the space from what it was when we moved in. There are so many different types of molding you can do, so you can really make it fit the style of your home and it's easy to achieve the look you want by the type and size of boards you use. You could do a focal or accent wall or go all out by doing a molding treatment on the entire room. Changing out your hardware will create a major wow factor. Some places you could do this are an outdated bathroom cabinet, doorknobs, or a faucet which I recently did in my half bathroom. This also lets you be creative by picking unique knobs and playing around with different finishes. And of course, there's always those Ikea furniture pieces that can look more high end just by switching out the hardware. Adding flowers or greenery to any room immediately gives life to the space. Green plants add a nice neutral color to any room. If you have a blank spot in a room, the answer is to always add a plant. Plants and flowers can act as a nice filler piece for your decor. If you need to add some height to your greenery, set the plant on a stool and put it in a basket to add coziness. This one just makes me giddy thinking about it, built-ins. We are currently in the beginning stages of doing built-ins in what will be an office dining room, so stay tuned for that in the near future. But in my last house, we completely transformed the way the living room looked by using IKEA Billy bookcases. And then we built a fireplace in the center of them. The extra detail of adding trim work all around the inexpensive bookcases really helped to make them look high end and like they were actually built-ins rather than an afterthought. Not only do built-ins alter the look of a room, but they can be used for styling your decor pieces and can be a way to get more storage in your home. Another design hack is to incorporate natural materials around your house. So think materials that are found in nature. Choose solid wood pieces over veneer, like this front entryway table that I just purchased, which is mango wood. Always pick real marble decor pieces or furniture over laminate marble that just doesn't have the same beautiful sheen to it. Other natural materials can be leather, brass, and beautiful crystals. These things feel more high-end when compared to the cheaper versions. Always keep a lookout for these higher-end finishes at thrift stores, the marketplace, and when you're going antique shopping. I would love to know which one was your favorite design hack, so let me know in the comments below. If you're interested to see how we built those beautiful built-ins from Ikea, you can check that out right here. I hope you have an amazing day and I will see you back here soon.